We have a light that shines within us That we were always meant to share And when we come together Combine the light that shines within There is nothing we can't do There is no battle we can't win Hello everyone, welcome back to Ryan Reacts And this will be more of a Ryan Predicts episode uh, This is going to be some uh, stuff that I... Not necessarily predictions or for season five, but things I'd like to see or hopes. Some predictions, maybe. Uh, fair warning: I'm gonna put a separate section before I even knew that blind reactions were a thing online. I kind of saw some of the spoilers, so I'm gonna put that in a separate area. I'll try to put like a warning siren or something first, so that way you guys know to click off uh, before that happens. Other than that. Uh, Let's get started. I'm a little late on getting this out because I want to have at least one prediction for each member of the main six. And each member of the CMC and a couple of the uh, side uh, side ponies. Uh, first of all, let's start with Twilight. Uh, one of the things that I think might be interesting involving her. Uh, before her, it was uh, uh, Sunset Shimmer. And I think she's had a... Uh, now that Twilight has uh, sort of graduated, I wonder if maybe Celestia is going to pick up a new student. And if so, how would Twilight react to that? Uh, maybe jealousy? Or maybe uh, Celestia asked her input on getting the new student and she's kind of overcome with the responsibility and making sure she, she picks the right student and uh, lives up to her, uh, her royal duties and stuff like that. I think that could be for an interesting... Uh, uh, idea. Applejack, uh, I think that this is one of my f the favorite ideas I came up with. Uh, her, uh, f to a large extent within the family, she's kind of the uh, mother figure since the parents are gone. Uh, she's kind of the big sister and mother to Apple Bloom, and she's uh, got such a big uh, Pro relationship or uh, role within the family, but you know something's come along recently that could change all that. Ah, uh, they they've hinted here and there, and pretty much made it fairly clear that uh, Cheerily and Big Mac are still together. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if uh, maybe she starts butting into Applejack's territory, maybe starts taking some more authority or. Uh, usurping some of her brother's time and that maybe makes her feel left out or unsure or insecure who knows how that could work out <clears throat> next uh, Rainbow Dash uh, one of the things that I think would be interesting with her is her uh, one of the things I would like to see is why she left Cloudsdale that might be interesting uh, something with Pinkie Pie that I think could be interesting is if there's someone who's kind of a stick in the mud kind of uh, too uh, uptight uh, too rigid Maybe uh, Pinkie Pie could teach them to have fun. And on a side note, well, I've actually kind of got a thought for that. Uh, Celestia. Celestia's, uh, with her sister having been on the moon, she's basically been on duty for over a thousand years. At this point, she might not re even remember how to just... She may not have ever, at any of this time, really had a good day off. She might find now that there's Twilight, Luna's back, uh, Cadence is around, plus uh, a, a prince, uh, striding armor. She might be able to finally like have a day to herself, but geez, it's been so long since she's been able to do that, she doesn't know how. Perhaps Pinkie Pie could teach her maybe how to have fun. Uh, Fluttershy, hers is... Uh, I, I kind of think uh, when I see her... I kind of think of the uh, season four finale and Discord betraying the main six and betraying her. I'd kind of like to see how she deals with that. Uh, maybe this time she's really hard against him, really unforgiving, and uh, Discord has to uh, earn his uh, her trust back. Because remember, uh, there's no losing someone's trust is the fastest way to lose a friend. FOREVER! Finally, Rarity. And this is actually... I had a hard time with Rarity that and Sweetie Belle together. That's that's kind of why... Uh, part of why this was so late coming out. And I realized Rarity and Sweetie Belle together... 
a song. They both have great singing voices. They both have great chemistry. I'd kind of like to see a duet with Rarity and uh, Sweetie Belle. I'm not sure what kind of song it would be. If they're singing about something they both like. If it's a singing argument, I don't really care. I just think it could be a really good bit to have those two singing together. Apple Bloom. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see with her, uh, uh, with all the main, with all the CMC, I'd like to see all of them get their cutie mark. But if they don't all get them like simultaneously or something, it may seem mean. But I want Apple Bloom to get hers last. Uh, this is just for storytelling. This is nothing personal. It's just of the three, she has on and over and over again proven herself to be the one who's most adamant about getting her cutie mark. I'd kind of be interested to see how she handles jealousy and bitterness and stuff like that when uh, Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle, if they got theirs first, and she was the last one with no cutie mark. It might be interesting to see her, how she handles it. Uh, Scootaloo. I want to see her spend some time with Rainbow Dash. Uh, remember, she was supposed to be like Rainbow Dash's little sister now, adopted sister, whatever. And as a possible element, maybe see... Scootaloo completely one-up Rainbow Dash. I mean, completely, totally, in a physical contest, Scootaloo dominates. Which, you know, Rainbow Dash, e e even if it's a close victory for Scootaloo, Rainbow Dash's ego would be probably bruised to some extent. Uh, I'm guessing, uh, I, I think it could make for a really good uh, chemistry and story between the two when you're uh, someone you always... Train actually one-ups you. I think that's a good uh, story. I think there could be some good morals learned there. Celestia. I'd kind of like to see her go through a reuni reuniting with Sunset Shimmer. Uh, now that we've got the uh, portal can be open at any time, I might be interested to see an episode where uh, Sunset Shimmer comes back for something or other and see how uh, the uh, awkwardness and... Uh, seeking forgiveness, or uh, I'm not sure exactly how that could go, but I do think there's a plenty of opportunity there for some really nice storytelling. Discord, depowered. I'm not sure the specifics. Again, this there's a whole lot of things you could do with this. Uh, he, for somehow, for some reason, he either is forced to or decides to go without power for a while. Uh, maybe other ponies take advantage of this situation and do something to him or want to do something to him after what all he did to Equestria. Uh, or maybe it's uh, one of the... Uh, I mean, after all, Discord seems to have had, you know, what, six opportunities now? Five or six opportunities to prove himself it's not being a dick and he's... This is his, like, sixth opportunity and... Uh, others might not like it that he uh, has it. It might be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, Spike. I'd like to see him get a chance to become a stallion. Uh, why? Because of his relationship, his his want to be relationship with Rarity. Uh, it's kind of difficult for pony dragon thing. However, if Spike has the chance to become an actual pony. That would probably uh, massively increase his chances with her. So it's basically his identity versus his dreams. I think that could be a uh, really interesting idea. One small thing with uh, Ponyville specifically, and this may seem a little bit weird, but Mayor Mayor. Uh, now that Ponyville has a big giant castle and princess and royal duties going on day to day every day, kind of going around, uh, a lot of that stuff may end up infringing on the... Uh, uh, authority of the local officials. Uh, it happens a lot in like national politics and like state capitals. Washington D.C. has a lot of its stuff screwed up by uh, federal rules and all that. Uh, that happens across the country. It happens across the world. Uh, it might be an interesting uh, little side uh, thing that happens. Uh, and essentially, even though she's a princess, Twilight kind of learning her place within uh, Ponyville as well, because, let's be honest, it wouldn't be hard for her to get a little caught up in uh, her authority. <clears throat> okay, this is uh, the last one, Luna. This is the only uh, 
specific spoiler I mentioned, I uh, can remember having nightmares about turning back into Nightmare Moon. Uh, this, I think she will be helped by the CMC on this. She helped, uh, speci- and if anybody, it would probably be Apple, uh, Apple Bloom. Because uh, we've had little bits with uh, her helping Sweetie Belle through dreams. She's helping Scootaloo through dreams. And now Apple Bloom will help her through dreams. It might be interesting to see that happen. I mean, it's it, it, to some extent, this is a case of the helper helping the... Who helps the helper when the helper needs help type of thing. Luna's always helps others with nightmares. What happens when she's the one having the nightmares is what I'm getting at here. Yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, hope you uh, enjoy the uh, rambling and nonsense that I spout from my mouth. <laughs> uh Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. Above all else, though, have a nice day.